we're going into Armageddon between Duda and Prague. Duda started with more time. He has to win this game to win the match. A draw is enough for Prague. A draw is enough for Prague. And I think if this were a classical game, if this were even a game with any increment, this would be a draw. Look how blocked it is. It's the same number of pawns. It's a rook end game. No pawn breaks for either side. But it's a race on time. And Duda's just making moves at this point. He just has to make random moves. There's no time advantage, really. It's less than 10 second difference between the two. And he has to make sure he does not repeat the position three times because the game will be automatically declared a draw. Ooh. So he has to maneuver in a very smart way. And you just saw the players there play instantly. <laughs> yeah, and uh, I'm just trying to count because the last pawn push was quite a long time ago. And uh, yeah, I mean, here Duda needs to push a pawn at some point. He's got to make sure he pushes White's G pawn, perhaps, for example, before the 50 move rule. Uh, because otherwise the game's declared a draw. Look at this, they're just going back and forth, no progress to be made, and... And there's right. drama! Liam Lee has suddenly won the second Blitz game against Magnus Cross to take that one to Armageddon. Wow, we will show the end of that game a bit later, but uh, look at this time scramble now. Yeah, Magnus, it looks like he blew it. He got overexcited and Duda's smiling now, and oh! he, blund he blunders into a repetition of the position. It's a draw. It's automatically a draw. He blunders into repetition. That is crazy. Prague wins the match in Armageddon with a draw. In that final game, he takes two points against Jan Christoph Duda to win this match. Incredible ending.